back to my channel. Um, you can't tell, but it's actually almost midnight here because I was waiting for my mom to go to sleep because today's cookies are going to be Christmas cookies, but I'm actually making them for the teachers, my mom and the teachers. My mom is absolutely incredible, um, especially during this pandemic, her and all the teachers that are really putting in the hard work to make sure that all of the students are able to excel during this hard time. Um, and even not in a pandemic, teachers deserve six figures for everything that they do. But since I don't have six figures, um, I thought that Christmas cookies would be the next best thing. Of course, money, cookies, basically the same. So um, I'm super excited to show y'all how I do these cookies. I actually found them on Pinterest. They are adorable and actually not too hard to do. So with that, let's get started. Okay, and our colors for these cookies are going to be green, red, and white. Um, I'd say the only difference is for the majority of my cookies, I'm always using a number two tip, but for these cookies, I'm going to be using a number one on this red because we are going to be using it to write some words. And other than that, um, I do have my two fill bottles. It is green and white. Um, I would say though, if you do have food coloring that doesn't taste, unfortunately, this time I do have red food coloring that does taste. Um, but if you don't, then feel free to add some red. You know, that's a lot of Christmas. I love it. To start it off, we are just going to outline the circle. So I'm going to take my white and just start at the top. Now I'm going to take my white fill and I'm going to fill it in. And I'm now just gonna take my tooth pick and I'm going to um, kind of fill that in. Okay, and as you can see, this was a very thin um, amount of icing that I used. I used it, I'm trying to um, kind of not use as much icing as I usually do just because I have a lot of cookies. But if you're not making that many cookies, and of course, make sure that you fill this up um, so that you don't have a lot of space at the bottom and that you don't have to kind of re-add a little bit more fill in there. So as you can see, um, I just kind of swirled that around, made sure that the fill really got distributed throughout the whole cookie. Um, this is going to be such a beautiful cookie, so we really want to make sure that there aren't any bubbles left. So again, just make sure that you're dropping that cookie. Um, that usually helps showing that some bubbles, if some bubbles are showing up. I don't really see that many. But let me do a final check. You can see there's just a couple. Great, and now we are just going to let that sit and harden a little bit. We are going to add the garland. So I'm gonna start with the little X at the bottom. I just wanna make that like this, a nice little cross and a nice little cross. I'm trying to make them look as symmetrical as I can. And then I'm just going to connect that to the top.
And there we go. So then I'll just take this right here, make sure that they are connected. Now this is a little tip that I taught myself just because um, after trying this a couple of times, I noticed that my cookies, maybe it, they weren't as symmetrical and I'm extremely OCD, so I like for them to be symmetrical. So next we are going to add the leaves. And then I'm just gonna add a leaf where I connected them to. Right there. Perfect. And then I'm just going to do it on the other side as well. So I'm gonna add that red bow. I'm gonna try and get it as symmetrical from the bottom to here as I can. So let's add maybe a little bit more green on this side. And next come the dots. So you're just gonna take um, your red and you're gonna add some dots to the side. And there we go. And the finishing um, touch for this cookie is on Pinterest. I mean, you can totally leave it like this. I think that's absolutely adorable. Um, but on Pinterest, she ended up writing the word joy. But since I'm doing this for the teachers, I'm going to write the word thanks. And there we go. How cute is that? I love that. And the second cookie idea is something totally nice and easy. It is going to be a present. So as you can see, I already outlined um, this cookie with the green. So now we are just going to take the fill and fill it in. Okay, and that is all filled in, so we're just gonna let that sit and harden for a bit. Okay, so that is hard. 
And so now comes just the easy part. You're going to take one of your piping colors. And make a line. Drop that there. And then you're going to add another line. Drop that on that side. And now we just add a bow like we did to the other cookie. Ta-da! There we go! Okay, and just like that we have our special wreath and our present cookies. Look at them, they're so cute! I think this one's my favorite though. So, um, they are just two easy cookies to do, um, especially for anybody that you're thinking of just doing something nice and simple this holiday season or do something cute for yourself. Either way, please do tag me in them. Um, I would absolutely love to see if you do make these cookies as well. And I want to thank Melissa Joy Cookies for this idea. Um, I absolutely love this idea, so make sure that you do check out her blog. And then this one I saw a couple of different times on Pinterest, so I'm not sure who to thank, but whoever thought of it, thank you very much. And guys, make sure that you do like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that you're notified when I post my next video. And other than that, um, it's time for bed. <laughs>